some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Detroit, Michigan, with Stevie Boy, a.k.a. Freaking Media, and his little buddy, Michigan Constitutional Crusader, as they are both arrested, along with a couple of their other buddies, uh, for trespassing. Now, this is an older video, uh... Most likely uploaded before I even started making videos on this channel. But hey, anytime a frauditor gets arrested, it's always a blast. Because you always know they're going to be whining, crying, complaining, and begging. So we all get to enjoy watching their stupidity over and over again. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? All right, y'all, we back. Hopefully I got audio or video now. See, look, I got to keep walking. Dude, you got the sidewalk blocked, you dummy. Don't tell me to stay the road when you got the sidewalk blocked, you big dummy. What are you, f***ed? You know, they got medicine for that now. You can go get checked. He is, ooh, boy. Boy, oh boy, get that damn supervisor here quick. Because this guy's a freaking idiot. Me Tell me, stay out the road, but he's got the damn sidewalk blocked, so I can't walk back and forth. You know, Stevie, I guess you're not exactly familiar with the proper time management skills. What do you think is going to take uh, less time? You bitching and complaining about uh, not being able to get around onto that sidewalk on the other side of the uh, car, or actually walking around the car and going about your business. I would wager that it would take more time to bitch, whine, moan, and cry and complain about that than it would to actually walk around the car. So, which means you have really piss poor time management skills and a sorry ass attitude to begin with. But you're blocking the road. I'm not open. They're blocking the road. Make them move. Oh, really? You ain't gonna do your job? I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Cool. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cops, nine. Oh, you did it, Stevie. You did it. You managed to count to nine. Now, let's see if we can up the ante and count to ten. And once you count to ten, you can go ahead and have ten minutes to play with your Legos. Good job, buddy. Good job. Oh. Uh, up to the up to the telephone pole, partner. Up to the telephone pole, partner. I, like I say, keep your directives to yourself. I don't need them. Don't worry, I don't need your directives. You make sure you stay off the Twinkies. Stay off the Twinkies, fat boy. That is. That's all he can do. He said, "He he he," like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Hey, you see this approach right here? This is my property too. You see that? You see these telephone poles that go all the way down? On this side is my property. Are you getting an education today? Because I'm going to make sure your sergeant gives it to you. I think they are getting an education today. My property. A much needed one. Our property. How many cops, yo? One, <laughs> two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, in eight, the nine. There's another one, there's another one the pulling in. Why I'm standing here is because. Sorry, dude, but that little thing about uh, you owning that property is uh, a very weak claim to begin with because you don't have 100% ownership in it. If you actually did have a piece in it, you would uh, be a shared owner with every other person in Detroit. Now, if you had 51% ownership of the property, then you would have a stronger argument. But as it is right now, you are still trespassing. This 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 junior right here is an idiot. Yes, yeah, yeah, this is all state owned. This is all state owned. As of 2016, this took over for the Detroit water plant under the bankruptcy in 2016. This is all state owned and ran. All right, he's got a tire good. What's up, buddy? How you doing? See, we 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 like good cops. I just don't like you because you're a. I ain't even gonna say. That one, that one there. That's the problem right there. Yeah. This guy was cool. This guy was cool. She was cool. We, Those guys were cool. It was these two. We're going to try. We're going to try. 
Either that or we're going to educate them in the law, one of the two. Less time at the gun range, more time at the law library for you. Yeah, Stevie, uh, maybe you should spend more time at the law library and less time, well, doing whatever it is that you do on your off time because, well, you need that education more than the officer right here, and we're about to find out why. Officer, you, you lose your individual rights. You lose your individual rights when you become a cop. You, you, are upheld. you have to do your duty and uphold the law and the Constitution. You don't have freedom of speech because your policy says you can't say whatever you want while you're on duty. So, what about his public safety? His personal safety? What about his personal safety? So he's not allowed to have that. Have what? Personal safety? Sure he can. He's got a gun and a taser. That, that keeps him safe, right? I didn't walk up on him. I didn't walk up on him. He walked up on me. And and then if and just and just because if I walk up on his car doesn't mean that's a threat to him. He needs to learn what a threat is and what a threat isn't. Okay. Don't care. I got a camera in my hand. It's not like I'm walking up with a gun on my hip or anything, right? Can you please provide a citation as to where it says uh, police officers automatically give up their rights when they sign up? Because Goat Boy tried the same thing on me saying that I didn't have the right to have a YouTube channel because I am a government employee. But you know what? I provided proof to that dumbass that that was not the case, that, that my school district did not have any say in what I do in my off time. But you know what? That's typical for frauditors. There are a lot of mouth, but no research. Okay. I guess you could say that. But then why would he walk up on me if he thought I was a threat? What, to walk up on me? No, I didn't say he has a job to do. I didn't say he had a job to do. I said, I said he has no personal rights when he becomes a cop and he loses all of his personal rights, freedom of speech, freedom of, uh, let's see, your Fourth Amendment, your Fifth Amendment. He has none of that while he's on duty. He has no rights while he's on duty. He has duties and policies that he has to follow. He can't say whatever he wants while he's on duty. Right. He, and he can't, okay, that's, that's all I'm saying. And for him to be worried about his safety from a guy with a camera who obviously poses no threat. You can't say obviously. Well, I got my hands occupied. What am I going to do? Hit you with my camera? Because nobody ever, no bad guys ever had a camera in their hand. Well, but but that, that's the problem. You guys walk around here thinking everybody's a damn bad guy and everybody has ill intent towards police. That's how you treat everybody. That's astounding logic right there, Stevie Boy. But you know what? There's a flaw in that little argument of yours that they treat everybody that way. Because you know what? They have a job to do. They get called to a scene where they have to investigate. And uh, if they find that you're doing something wrong, like you're doing right now by trespassing, then they're going to, well, trespass you like the owners of the property want to have done. Now, if you happen to encounter a cop out on the streets and you're not doing anything wrong, then they'll most likely leave you alone. I've encountered plenty of cops out on the streets and they've never bothered me one bit because you know what? I wasn't doing anything wrong to get investigated by them, you dipshit. Now, with that being said, let's just go ahead and go to the point where these idiots get arrested now, shall we? A little longer than a few minutes later. Are they getting arrested? Why are they being arrested? Look at that. Look at that. They're being arrested. Oh, man. Why are they being arrested? Look at that. Why? Why are they being arrested? 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 For what? For what? I didn't do anything. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do illegal? I'm. What did I do? Okay, just put your hands up. Uh uh. Uh uh. I no. What did I do? You have to tell me what I done. You're being arrested for trespass. How? I get left the property, yo. They never asked us to leave. I cry like Snoopy. Ah! You have to ask someone to leave before you can arrest them for trespassing. And I left. And I was off the property when you guys showed up. So how are you going to arrest me for trespassing? Listen to me. Okay. That don't make no sense. Follow the law, Sergeant. Listen to Follow me. the law. I know what the, I know okay. what trespassing entails. Listen to me. Well, they're saying uh -huh. that they told you guys to leave. No, sir. So we have it all on camera. And that they have you on video coming back. 
Coming back where? Here. No, sir. So, no, sir. We have it on video. Do you want to watch it? Okay. Do you want to watch it? And I'll show you. They're lying. They are lying. Okay. Yeah, let's believe the frauder who always lies about the law over the owners of the property. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to go. Maybe we should arrest the owners for, uh, well, uh, interfering with the auditors. Yeah, dumbass Elmo tried the exact same thing where he wanted the uh, police officers arrested for interfering with the auditors. Yeah, like that's really going to work. So we're being placed under arrest now. Okay. This is an awful arrest. Okay. It's an, and you know in America, the Supreme, the Supreme Court ruled in, in America we have the right to resist an awful arrest with force. That's what the Supreme Court of the United States has ruled. And this is an unlawful arrest, I'm telling you. And your qualified immunity is going out the window. I've, I, I'm telling you, bro, this is an they said, when, As soon as this officer said, get off the property, we left. And we never came back. We parked, we walked down the sidewalk, we walked back, and we came here. Now, you're not listening to me, bro, but you're going to listen to them. I'm not resisting. I'm just not going to assist. But what I'm telling you is you're listening to them and taking their word for it. And they say they have it on camera, but I have it on camera that I didn't, that they never asked us to leave. Oh, boo-hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Right now. They Wait, never asked us to leave. Don't back. turn my camera off. I didn't turn it off. I'm that just You're tampering with evidence if you do. I'm I'll telling you, they're lying. Target, I got it all on video. They're okay. lying. Okay. We walked down the sidewalk. We came back down here. We got to the car. They said, if you don't move, you're going to be trespassed or we're going to have it towed. They never asked us to leave. Okay. Then the officers showed up and they said, okay, you're trespassing. You need to Get ready, everybody. He's about to do something stupid. States that once you're told you're trespassing and asked to leave, you have to leave within a reasonable amount of time. And we did that. Are you sure about that, Stevie boy? Because I read the Michigan trespassing statutes, and this is pretty much them in a nutshell. And it doesn't say that you are given a reasonable amount of time to leave whatsoever. So once again, we have another frauditor lying his ass off. Oh yeah, and for good measure, I ended up finding this little nugget of information right here about trespassing on uh, state-run prison grounds. So you frauditors may want to take a look at this one as well. That's what the law states. That's how it reads in the MCLs. You're aware of that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. No, Stevie boy, that's not what it says in the MCLs. If you actually look up the MCLs and actually are honest about what you found, then you would realize how much of an idiot that you truly are. Oh, man, you and MCC are just a couple of uh, dingbats who just think that they know everything. Now, don't you? Yeah, but if you actually look up these things, we, we all find out that you two are nothing but a couple of incompetent morons. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?